of words, Rachel Meltorama. New in Climate Matters tonight, you usually don't think of the Great Lakes having an impact on our weather. But in the uh, winter, they actually can, and this year it's because of a lack of ice. Fox 61 meteorologist Ryan Breton explains. The Great Lakes, known for causing lake effect snowstorms, like the one that delayed the game between the Steelers and Bills in Buffalo last month. A big reason for that storm, so little ice covering the lakes this winter, hitting a record low just last week. The Great Lakes can control a lot of the weather in the Northeast, especially in the fall and winter, and it all has to do with whether or not there's ice on the lakes. When the lakes are open and cold air blows over those lakes, it serves as a moisture source, generating clouds, and as you've seen, lake effect snow that can drop a lot of snow in parts of upstate New York. Very rarely some of those lake effect snow showers can make it to New England, but more often when those lakes are wide open, as they've been this winter, the clouds survive the trip, which is something we saw a lot of during the month of January. Now, when the lakes freeze up, which they have not this winter, that moisture source gets cut off and you don't see any snow showers or as many clouds forming as the cold air blows over the open water. Well above average winter warmth across much of the region surrounding the Great Lakes responsible for the lack of ice this winter. And the forecast ahead does not look very favorable for more ice to form late in the season, with above average temperatures forecast heading into early March. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.